I died and saw these celebrities in hell, prophetic word rapture dream. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to Spirit Revived. In today's video, I am excited to share with you an incredible near-death experience sent to us by a sister. If you find yourself blessed to be watching this video today, I humbly request your support by subscribing to my channel. By doing so, you become an integral part of our joyful Christian family, united in our faith and devotion. Furthermore, I kindly ask you to extend this blessing by sharing the video with your loved ones, allowing them the opportunity to experience the uplifting power of the gospel message. Together, let us spread the light of God's love and grace to all corners of the world. Your active participation through likes, shares, comments, and interactions will fortify the growth of our channel, amplifying its impact and outreach. Each subscription, each like, each share, and each comment acts as a beacon, guiding lost souls towards the unwavering love and grace of our Heavenly Father. My sincere hope and prayer are that you will stick with me until the very end of this video, allowing yourself to gain a profound understanding of the message at hand. I assure you that I will read it exactly as it was sent to us, with no omissions or additions. Please give your undivided attention as I proceed with the reading. And now I read. Greetings, everyone. My name is Cassandra, and I recently celebrated my 68th birthday. Although I currently reside in France, I was born and raised in Canada. This life-changing event occurred approximately two years ago, and I have since shared this message during numerous joint services. However, I feel compelled to share it on your channel as well, as it may prove to be of great help to many individuals, especially those in need of a profound revelation. I endured excruciating chest pain, making it difficult for me to breathe. The doctors explained that the cancer, which had originated in my left breast, had now spread to my heart, gradually weakening my respiratory system. During that time, I found it extremely challenging to articulate my thoughts and emotions. The paramedics promptly administered oxygen, yet the situation seemed dire. A few months later, I underwent surgery to remove the tumor, but sadly, the cancer returned even more aggressively, rendering the chemotherapy and medication ineffective. My pastor and fellow church members fervently prayed for me daily, and the doctors diligently provided treatment at home. However, on a day when my life took an unexpected turn, my children decided to rush me to the hospital as I could barely breathe. At the hospital, I encountered what I can only describe as divine intervention from God. The only thing I recall is my eldest son, Daniel, pulling the car over at the hospital entrance. When I opened my eyes, I found myself suspended in an empty void. Although I could faintly hear Daniel calling my name, his voice seemed distant. Before me, I saw two diverging paths, one narrow and the other broader. A radiant figure approached from the narrow path. Despite his majestic appearance and large wings, I was surprised by his humble demeanor. I felt a mix of fear and comfort in his presence. The angel introduced himself as Gabriel, a sign by the Lord to guide me through this otherworldly journey. He revealed the challenges he faced to bring these revelations to me, as the devil opposed him even before my passing. Gabriel explained that the cancer was not a result of my sins or a malicious attack, but rather a means for God to manifest His glory through my life. This instantly brought to mind a passage from the book of John, chapter 9, verses 1 to 3. As Jesus passed by, He saw a man who was blind from birth, and His disciples asked Him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. I was astonished as Gabriel shared these intimate details, known only to me. Truly, we serve a living God who knows all mysteries. He led me through the narrow path, and soon we were joined by a multitude of people heading in the same direction. They wore sorrowful expressions, resembling convicts on their way to the gallows. I inquired why they looked so despondent, and Gabriel explained that they were destined for damnation. They included adulterers, thieves, 
corrupt politicians, scammers, hardened criminals, and morally bankrupt celebrities who used their influence to spread immorality. These actions negatively impacted the younger generation as they believed God approved of such behavior. As we drew closer to our destination, the wailing intensified, emanating from the multitude of tormented souls. I felt the excruciating heat and their agonizing cries sounded like mooing cattle, though they were unmistakably human. The angel guided me through different compartments, each inhabited by individuals suffering the consequences of their earthly actions. One compartment held unscrupulous politicians who lied and oppressed the weak and poor to maintain their power. Another housed deceased female celebrities, some of whom were once influential figures but had succumbed to the devil's influence and became unrepentant. The most unsettling sight was a cubicle functioning as a waiting room for those who had sold their souls to the devil in exchange for worldly desires. I was allowed to enter, discovering a vast hall like a museum, filled with thousands of photographs. Gabriel explained that these souls had willingly abandoned God for temporal gains, and they were beyond redemption due to their unrepentant hearts. Among the images, I clearly recognized four famous singers, Cardi B, Madonna, Lady Gaga, Beyonce, Rihanna, Shakira, and Nicki Minaj. I saw very popular pastors and some famous male musicians too. It became evident that they had also all sold their souls, leading to their damnation. Gabriel shared that God had gifted them with beautiful voices intended for singing gospel songs to touch hearts and souls. However, they fell prey to the devil's temptation choosing fame and worldly success over God's purpose. The angel expressed how deeply God loved these lost souls and wept for them. He emphasized the importance of parents' prayers to protect their children's souls and steer them away from the devil's elder. Gabriel conveyed that my extraordinary experience came with great responsibility. I felt the pain and torment of those condemned souls making it evident that I must make a positive impact on people's lives, especially the youth. My influence could be used to lead them toward a path of righteousness. With the echo of my name, it was time to return to the world I knew. My assignments now held paramount importance. After awakening in a room full of family and unfamiliar doctors, I understood the purpose of my existence and the transformative nature of my encounter. Miraculously, I was healed within weeks and the cancer vanished without a trace. Praise be to Jesus for saving me and choosing me as a vessel to spread his word. I am grateful for your time. Thank you for watching to the end. Please help us get this message out to the rest of the world by forwarding it. To all of your family, friends, and loved ones, if you haven't already, kindly subscribe to my channel. Please do so right away so that you can receive other videos on God's Word in the days and weeks ahead. I am grateful to you, and may God continue to bless you till our next meeting. From all of us at Spirit Revive, stay safe till we meet again.